In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take an overview of most of the 30 transitions that are brand new to the program in the late spring, early summer of 2020. These transitions are available to those of you who are subscribers to PowerDirector 365. When you go to the PowerDirector website, and you click on the screen, you'll get to a page that looks like this. When you click on the What's New area, it will give you what we're about to look at slightly lower than the banner at the top. I'm going to drag down, and if you look on the right, there's an area called Transition Packs, Distortion, Glitch, and Geometric. And you discover that you have 19 distortion transitions, which are brand new, eight glitch transitions, and three geometric transitions. And this again is for those of you who are subscribers. So I'm going to minimize that. And here I have a screen where I've applied all the transitions except for the three geometric transitions. Now, unfortunately, once these are installed in your copy of PowerDirector, it doesn't identify which ones are new and which ones are not. But when I go to my transition room, I'm going to click on the sixth icon from the left. I, if I look at glitch, all of these are new. These are the new ones in that area, the eight new ones. And I click on the down area for the subcategory. I click on distortion, and I see now I have all my new distortion, my 19 distortion. Now, I also have three geometric, but when I click in that subcategory of geometric, I have 71 transitions in my copy of PowerDirector. And to be honest, I don't know which three of these 71 happens to be new. So I, uh, I can't tell. There's no way for me to tell by any kind of date stamp or anything which ones are new. So I'm going to overlook the three new ones in this host I have in my copy of PowerDirector. And we're going to focus instead on the ones I do know that are brand new, the distortion category, where we have 19, and also the glitch category, where we have eight new ones. And so what I've done is I've, I've put together a video that uses each of the transitions for three seconds. And it goes through a series and it will show you graphically what it looks like to look at these transitions, what their names are, and a quick look at what they do. Some of them I think you might find useful as you continue your video editing in CyberLink PowerDirector.